Hey everyone, welcome back to Care Fiction. I'm your host Subhankar. The Wizarding World is not only about a noseless dark lord tormenting a little boy who lived, but it is also about magical creatures. It has been about 19 years since the Harry Potter movies came out, and it has become a staple of our fantasy wish list. I have seen it countless times, and I'm still on a binge mode. However, raise your hands if you had desired that the dragons had a little more screen time. Then that little sequence in the Goblet of Fire. But the past is past, and we don't have a time turner like Hermione to go back and script a few more minutes of dragon lore into the movie. That being said, don't worry, as I bring to you the dragon lore. So let the mischief begin. Before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, take a second of your time and hit the like button. And if you haven't done it yet, please consider subscribing. A little disclaimer though: the list does not follow any particular order, but consider it as a random list. Kicking off our list with the vicious Peruvian viper tooth, native to northeastern Peru, this copper-colored dragon can reach up to an average length of 15 feet, and its fangs are venomous. It is the smallest and the fastest known breed of dragon. The dragonologist Harvey Ridgewood was the first person to catch a Peruvian viper tooth. Have you heard of the disease called the dragon pox? The sole source of this deadly disease is a Peruvian viper tooth, and among the many people to have been prey to the disease. Is Euphemia Potter, paternal grandmother of Harry Potter. Up next, dwelling in the Carpathian Mountains of Romania, is the Romanian Longhorn. The Romanian Longhorn has dark green scales and two long golden horns, reminiscent of a dinosaur breed known as the Triceratops. The horns of the Longhorn are extremely potent for potion ingredients. Then we have the relatively less aggressive Antipodian Opelai, native to New Zealand. This breed of dragons can reach up to and beyond 40 feet. And has a rather unusual habitat. Unlike most dragon breeds that reside in mountains, this breed prefer valleys. They are known to be one of the most beautiful dragons, and they have multicolored eyes with no pupils. Here comes a nasty dragon, the Chinese fireball, also known as the lion dragon. Reaching to about 25 feet, the scarlet-scaled dragons hail from China, and they shoot mushroom-shaped flames from their nostrils. They weigh two to four tons and are generally considered fast and clever. Do you remember that Victor Crumb had to face this dragon in the Triwizard Tournament? Up next is a breed from the Hebrides Islands of Scotland, known as the Hebridean Black. It has dark, rough scales, ridges along its back, and a tail tip with an arrow-shaped spike. The Hebridean Black has brilliant purple eyes, bat-like wings, and can grow up to be about 30 feet long. The common whale screen is native to Wales and is known for its distinctive musical roar. It is popularly believed in this wizarding universe that the Welsh Green Dragon may well have been the actual cause of the Great Fire of London. Fleur de Lac faced this breed of dragon for the first task of the Triwizard Tournament. Now we slide into the top tier of the dragons. Here we have the Norwegian Ridgeback, native to Norway. It has black scales and is known for a less hostile attitude. However, don't let that fool you, as it has venomous fangs. Rubius Hagrid had a Norwegian Ridgeback, fondly known as Norbert. Averaging at 22 feet, we have a very deadly dragon from Sweden, known as the Swedish short snout. Its scales are silvery blue, and it breathes blue, extremely hot fire. Although it is accounted for with less cats than most dragons, it is extremely dangerous. Cedric Diggory had to face this dragon in the Triwizard Tournament. Although I said that this list in no way follows any order, I had to save the best for the last. Native to Ukraine, the Ukrainian Iron Belly is the Largest breed of dragons known. Its scale is metallic gray in color. It has a vast wingspan and long talons. These red-eyed dragons can reach up to a weight of six tons. You have seen this dragon in the Gringotts Bank guarding the Lestrange Vault. And finally, we have the Hungarian Horntail, native to Hungary. It has black scales and its appearance is lizard-like. This black dragon has a screeching, shattering roar. Its scorching red-hot breath can reach up to 50 feet. These dragons are highly aggressive and are extremely fast. Our boy wonder Harry Potter faced this ferocious dragon in the Triwizard Tournament. So these are the 10 dragons from the Wizarding Universe. Apart from these, two other dragons are also mentioned without much background: the Catalonian Fireball and the Portuguese Long Snout. Which of these dragons is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. If you didn't know this, dragons are classified as 5X creatures by the Ministry of Magic. That simply means that they cannot be trained or domesticated, obviously. So thank you for watching this video. Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Time for me to leave. Mischief managed. See you soon.